So in this how-to video, we're gonna show you how to swap out a standard light switch. In this particular case, we have the manila, biscuit, beige color, whatever you wanna call it, and we're gonna update that to a white. Um, rather than just switching out the plate, we also need to do the switch too. Um, and also just keep in mind that this is not a three-way switch, which is a light that's controlled by multiple switches. This is just one switch that's controlling one light fixture. So the first step is the most important step, um, especially if you have to learn the hard way. <laughs> Go to the breaker box and make sure that you turn the power off that is powering the box that you are going to be working on. I would also recommend you get someone to help you with this. A lot of times you can turn the light on, run downstairs or wherever your circuit breaker is and switch it. But if you have someone to, to relay back and forth, like a beautiful assistant, um, it makes things a little bit easier and more efficient. Now that the breaker is off, we can proceed with our work. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a flathead screwdriver and take off the plate. Once the plate is off, you can then take a Phillips screwdriver and pull the switch out of the box. Now remember when I said safety is the first and most important thing? So we're going to go ahead and test this again with a voltage meter or voltage tester um, just to double check so that you don't have to learn the hard way. Now that we are safe from deadly electrical shock, um, we can go ahead and just remove the switch and that's just with a Phillips head screwdriver. We removed the switch and I noticed that the box is not grounded. So specifically since it's a metal box, we definitely want to ground this. Um, so you can actually buy these pre-made. It has a self-tapping screw at the end. That's a green screw. Um, or you can just buy um, the, the less expensive route, which what I recommend is just buy um, a few feet of 12 gauge, you can even do 14 gauge copper wiring with a green um, insulator on it. And then just pick up a box of screws that'll go with it. Just cut about six inches worth of uh, copper line and drill it into the back of the box. There's usually some holes that are ready, already there for you to screw right into, and that'll do exactly what you need it to do. So now that you have a proper ground wire and your hot and neutral wires are ready to go, you're going to install the switch. Now think about what kind of switch you want to install. We're going to go with your standard basic toggle switch because it, it's appropriate for the 1941 property that this is on. Um, it's also a very affordable option. Now you notice in here there's a yellow wire nut with some wires going into it. Not a big deal. So if you see some extra wires in the back, don't, don't freak out or anything. That's just carrying the current to the next box in sequence. So the, the one circuit that this is on, on the breaker, it feeds continuously to all the light fixtures in your house or whatever the electrician set up originally. All right, so we're just gonna connect these and basically they should slide right on. Now, if you're having trouble getting these wires around the, the screw, you can go ahead and use pliers to help get that. But in this case, I don't think we're gonna need to. So I'm just gonna get that started and tighten it up. So just as a quick tip, it's good to, to put the wire in the way it screws in the same direction. So if you're turning the screw to the right, you wanna wrap the wire to the right. It just helps tighten it and make it a better connection. That little noise in the background is my 18 pound cockapoo. And he wants to help. Okay. Now that we got the light switch connected, I like to do something a little bit extra that isn't necessarily a common practice in, from my experience, but I always use some electrical tape to tape up the screws on the side of the switch. But before we do that, we wanna turn the breaker back on and just make sure the light switch is actually working. So let's go ahead and do that, Sarah. Awesome, so the light works, so now we're just gonna tape it up. I'm gonna use my electrical pliers to cut the tape or you just get regular old scissors. But I love these things because they have a whole bunch of different uses. You can strip wire, manipulate the wire, you can cut your tape. It's perfect. We're ready to, to screw this back in and be done with this project. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take the switch back out 
And what's causing that is the new ground wire. It just has a little extra tension. So I'm just gonna kink that wire and push it back in the box a little further so that there's not that push on the switch and it should just fit right in nice. So when you're OCD like me and my wife, um, it's important to have the light switch straight. This way the plate fits on nice and smooth and you don't have any issues. Let's get the plate on. Again, you can pick these up for like 69 cents. One quick tip about when you put the plate on is just make sure that your screws are uniform with each other just to keep a clean look. Other than that, you're all set. And we did all this for $3.28. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, please let us know your thoughts. We are working on a lot of different projects. So if there's something in particular you wanna see, let us know and please, please, please hit subscribe. Please, please, please subscribe. Oh, we'd really appreciate it and so would Hero. Right, buddy? <laughs> You're making me nervous. <laughs> now let's start over. Mm-hmm. <laughs>